I want to play for a team. It's just like, this is a good chance. I always want to play for a basketball team. Midnight Basketball is a program that's run in the Northern Hemisphere for a long, long time, uh, very successfully. Uh, we found it and brought it into Redfern in Sydney about five years ago and subsequently um, really expanded it around the country. You get to play basketball till midnight and you just like, it's a great fitness sport. I think it just helps integrate them into the area and get um, accustomed to some of our cultures here and just the way we run day to day. When I arrived in Australia, it was really cold because really different from Africa because Africa is really hot and they like in Africa there's a lot of war and criminal there. Some of these guys have come from pretty hard sort of backgrounds so something like this just helps them fit in that bit easier and breaks down a lot of barriers I guess too so makes it um, a lot of fun and I think that's the best way they can join into the community anyway. I heard from my friend, so we decided to do it for fun and just catch up on Friday night. Yeah, basically uh, we got a group of guys together um, involving some police officers, um, some local councillors and those sort of people. I think they really seen the need for this particular program in this area, particularly being a very multicultural sort of area. One night my brother came home after midnight and told me about it. I didn't know it was on, but and then after he told me about it, I was interested in trying out. One of my teachers just informed me that that was like a midnight basketball happening. So I was interested because I like basketball. Yeah, so I, I give it a try. I really liked it. One of my friends told me that there was a basketball going on, so I was very excited. So I wanted to see how they're going and how they play. So yeah, and then I came. I made a lot of friends here, as you guys you can see. Like. It helps with my, my skill at basketball, getting along with people. Besides coming in and working with they're tremendously talented kids, often these kids, they're very athletic. Much more importantly, from a mentoring perspective, there's so much that these kids are missing out on in their lives. There's lots of little things, like if you're going to move into um, a stage which we call job readiness, there's lots of things that you need to be able to do, like meet someone, look them in the eye, shake their hand, feel like they're not looking through you, feel like they're addressing you. And that's a confidence thing too, but it's also, it's a life skill. Linda Cobb Corporate. Uh, be a part of the team and stuff. Yeah. I think it's helping me a lot so of learning how I can meet a new friends and different people from different countries so yeah it's helping me a lot. In the program we divide the kids up between teams and it was the most um, terrific way of getting to know the other kids and subsequently have gone back into school and really got to know um, you know, the kids through midnight basketball, uh, but importantly, have also then we found become leaders in the group. It was really hard because we have to like get used to new culture and the way the society of uh, people live here. You know, because from here in Australia, it's different from where I come from. Yeah, we got to go to school and new school and I'd get a good job. Probably transport's the most difficult for them, especially when they're fairly um, new to the country. Um, that's probably a big thing that they struggle with. So buses are very important to getting them to and from the venue for some people. The other one can be, I guess, some of their family customs and stuff too. So issues they may have at home. Um, obviously cost is a big thing that can factor programs that I've found from here at the venue. We find that with all the barriers that get raised, confidence is the big one. And if these kids can feel like they are able to adhere to the discipline requirements in, in this very structured environment, they can move so easily into community sport, which is a terrific outcome. I couldn't speak English because I can't actually understand what people are saying and I can't communicate with other people. Some of the kids in particular find it very difficult to get forms and stuff signed at home. Um, I guess with the forms generally being printed in English, some of them have to get translation for some of the forms. Um, so sometimes it can be sort of a two or three week period that we've got to constantly remind players to say, hey, we need your forms, parents or guardians, um, to fill those out and get them back to us. Well, actually my mum can't speak English. That will be like, you get contact with me, like asking me, so and then I can tell my mum 
and then what going on so and then I can explain back to you what she say so yeah yeah my mom doesn't like me going out much but after she knew it was basketball she said I could come and I also come with my brother which helps but now parent support is definitely a big factor like a lot of them have to bring the kids into the venue um, so getting them here um, and then even the support throughout the evening too for the ones that are coming in helping out with just little things like scoring or even helping drive buses home and that sort of thing is a big big help that's for sure. So at Midnight Basketball we provide, you know, it's a free program and we provide buses home to everyone to their front door. This is something which needs to be addressed through just through things like carpooling, getting to know them, who knows these, you know, who are their parents, how do you get to know them, how could perhaps you offer that there's lots of carpooling that goes on between people who know each other in communities and um, that's a, I think a really important um, barrier to try and address and be as practical as you can because it's a big issue. As far as how, how, to actually, how we actually target the kids, try and think about, go and talk to council, talk to your youth liaison officers, talk to your local police, talk to different cultural groups. There's, there's lots of community service organisations who will be involved with these groups and kids and get their advice. The food is also another, it's another important element of Midnight Basketball because the, the, the dinner is actually provided. We need The kids might not have fed. We don't want everyone to be hungry. It actually also is a great inclusionary way of bringing people from the community. We sit down at the start of the term with the midnight basketballers and they write the code of conduct. Right? We, we facilitate the, the process but they write it. It is actually, I think, really, really important if you're going to get a diverse group of kids across your community to get involved in the program that you're running, is that actually they take ownership of it. Let the parents know that is something to do with basketball, not just the kid hanging around at night and yeah, just let the parents know before. You know, be as welcoming as you can, not patronising, but welcoming. There's a lot of preconceived ideas, especially about some of the new arrivals. So I think until you actually have close dealings with them and, and see how good of people they, they really are, they're just beautiful people. Some of the stuff they come out and do and um, very friendly. Um, so yeah, I just think you've got to, just got to get them involved. And the rewards overall are enormous. Apart from that, some of them are absolutely fantastic athletes too. So they'll benefit your club in every single way anyway. And that's, and sport is again, the most terrific structure to pe bring people together. And we would say to all these people that are volunteers, um, you know, they get so much out of it and they tell us in such great heartfelt way that, you know, the meaning that it's brought to their lives in helping kids in the community, that um, we just encourage you to go ahead and do it. I always thought I wasn't good enough to join the team, so yeah, that's why I'd never joined the team before. I actually want to give it a try now.